my word. These questions are amazing. Climate change is already affecting the way we pursue economic growth because it's affecting, climate change is affecting everything we do. Now, what's happening is that business hasn't responded as quickly as it needs to respond, but what you see, what you, we saw happening with Superstorm Sandy is a taste. So how it's going to affect it is the insurance industry is being devastated by the increase in, in catastrophes. Um, businesses, small businesses were closed for, you know, long periods of time with, with Superstorm Sandy. And um, so that's, so what's going to happen is over time, not just we humans will be stopped in our tracks from the normal way we've been living our lives, but business as well will. And business, the military, uh, everything, every part of human life will have to grapple with climate change. It's, it's, it's already here. It's a fact. It's going to get worse. And we, we have to pay attention to it. That, Sinsoon, was a wonderful part of, her, of Superstorm Sandy in that for the first time the climate change deniers were silent. And you were hearing global warming and climate change coming out of the mouth of our president and the governor of New Jersey and on and on. And that to me was a very hopeful thing. It's, it's if we could just slide very quietly into this era of, okay, they're gone. The peop the naysayers are gone. They're quiet. They're not going, they're not going to question this anymore. Because the questions were really lies. We, we science proved that to us. So, how can it affect it? It can close businesses down. It can radically alter the way people do business. It can seriously disrupt travel. It can disrupt um, not just transportation, but energy, the energy grid. And, and it has and it will. You know? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting how in the storm, whole businesses that would have no electricity and they were cooking on, you know, like cooking on these little, I mean, businesses open, opening, this one open to serve pizza because it had gas ovens or wood-fired ovens, you know, making great pizza. But having to tot the purchases in a book because there were no computer-driven cash registers, very, very interesting. While at St. Lawrence, this student came up to me and she said, I was speaking about sustainability in a class, and she said, my dad wants to put a windmill in our backyard, and my mom is, is horrified. And she said, do you think my dad should do that? I was like, do I think your dad should make himself uh, energy independent? You know, should he prepare for what's coming? Yes, yes, hurry down to the windmill store and buy a windmill.